Revolvers and semi-automatic pistols are among the most popular types of handguns in use today. Both originated in the 19th century, although revolver-type firearms had existed since the 16th century, and have undergone considerable development. Understanding the differences between them can help you determine what type of weapon you need for your purposes. The revolver is a handgun that typically has a single barrel and a rotating cylinder containing multiple firing chambers. By cocking the hammer or pressing the trigger, the revolver mechanism indexes the cylinder, rotating it one position. This aligns the topmost chamber, i.e. at the 12 o'clock position, with the barrel. How to Operate a Revolver Most revolvers fall into one of three action types. Single Action Only In a single action only revolver, commonly referred to as just a single action revolver, such as the Colt Single Action Army, the trigger performs one action, it releases the hammer. To index the cylinder and fire the gun, you have to manually cock the hammer with your thumb. The reloading process for a weapon of this type typically consists of unloading the cylinder manually by placing the hammer on half cock and rotating the cylinder by hand, aligning each chamber with the ejector rod and unloading the chambers one cartridge at a time. Double Action Single Action In a double action single action revolver, commonly referred to as simply double action revolvers, you can either fire the gun single action by first cocking the hammer or double action by pressing the trigger. In double action mode, the trigger pull is necessarily longer and heavier, as it must perform two actions, compressing the main spring. In single action mode, the trigger pull is shorter and lighter, allowing for a more precise shot. Double action only. In a double action only revolver, also commonly referred to as simply dual action revolvers, there is no provision for single action operation. The, the hammer may be shrouded or concealed inside the frame. The lack of an exposed hammer spur reduces the number of surfaces that could snag on clothing when concealed carry. DAO is common in snub-nosed revolvers designed for concealed carry. In a modern revolver, you load and unload the cylinder by activating the cylinder latch to unlock the cylinder from the frame. You then swing the cylinder out to the side, exposing the chambers. Depending on the manufacturer, the cylinder latch may move in different ways. In Colt revolvers, for example, you slide the cylinder latch to the rear. In Smith & Wesson and Taurus revolvers, slide the latch forward. In Ruger revolvers, the cylinder latch is a button that you depress. Semi-Automatic Pistol A semi-automatic or self-loading pistol, commonly referred to as simply pistol, is a single-barreled handheld firearm fed from an integral or detachable magazine. The main difference between revolvers versus pistols is the way the next round is loaded. Pistols have fixed chambers while revolvers have chambers that rotate in a cylinder. Pistols use a reciprocating slide that serves as the bolt, sealing the breech on ignition. Unlike revolvers, pistols use the bolt thrust or gas pressure generated by the fired cartridge to perform the cycle of operation. How to operate a semi-automatic pistol The same trigger mechanisms apply to many semi-automatic pistols. However, unlike revolvers, which are fed using a hammer, pistols may use either a hammer or striker mechanism to initiate primer ignition. Feeding Systems Clips or Magazines The Small Arms and Ammunition Manufacturers Institute defines a magazine as, quote, a receptacle for a firearm that holds a plurality of cartridges or shells under spring pressure preparatory for feeding into the chamber. Semi-automatic pistols are usually fed from detachable box magazines, which hold cartridges in a single or double feeding column. By staggering the feeding column, the manufacturer can increase the capacity while also reducing the length. A clip, commonly referred to as stripper clips, in contrast, holds cartridges in sequence for rapid insertion into a magazine. In summary, clips feed magazines and magazines feed firearms. A clip does not contain a feeding spring. Clips are rarely used in semi-automatic pistols but have been used to reload rifles and rifle magazines for more than a century. Revolvers, however, can use half and full moon clips. 
These can serve the same purpose as speed loaders, allowing you to insert three or six cartridges at a time. If your revolver is chambered in a rimless cartridge, such as 9mm or 45 ACP, the moon clip acts as a substitute revolver rim for the extractor star to press again, trapping into the cartridge's extractor groove. Revolver vs. Pistol Both revolvers and pistols have their advantages and disadvantages. Revolvers are prized for their mechanical reliability and simplicity to use. As the revolver is not dependent on the ammunition to index the cylinder and fire, it can fire various ammunition types, ranging from low-pressure target loads to full-power combat loads. In addition, because the bullet doesn't have to climb a feeding ramp to enter the chamber, revolvers are not limited regarding bullet shape. Pistols, on the other hand, are often capable of holding much more ammo and facilitating much faster reloading with their detachable magazines. Misfires. A misfire in a semi-automatic pistol often requires retracting the slide to extract and eject the defective cartridge, especially as modern combat handguns typically lack second strike capability. In a DAO or DASA revolver, you can simply press the trigger a second time to index the cylinder and fire the successive cartridge. Fixed Barrel. Most semi-automatic pistols designed for combat or self-defense use a type of short recoil operation in which the barrel reciprocates. If you press the muzzle against an assailant to perform a contact shot, there is a risk that the weapon will be taken out of battery, rendering it inoperable. Most revolvers have fixed barrels pinned to the frame, eliminating this risk. Furthermore, another benefit of the fixed barrel is that revolvers are inherently more accurate than many pistols. Capacity in the revolver versus pistol debate, the primary advantage of the pistol is capacity. Most revolvers have a cartridge capacity of between 5 and 7 rounds. Some wheel guns have cylinders holding 8 or 9 rounds, but these are comparatively uncommon. Semi-automatic pistols, however, hold anywhere between 6 rounds in subcompact handguns designed for concealed carry and more than 20 in large-framed handguns. Reloading Although a skilled combat revolver shooter can reload a revolver rapidly, the reloading process requires aligning the speed loader with the cartridge chambers, rotating the release mechanism, and closing the cylinder. Depending on the type of ammunition that you're using, this can require more dexterity than inserting a box magazine into the frame of a pistol and either depressing the slide stop or retracting the slide with your support hand. Best Home Defense Pistol the best home defense pistol need not be an ultra-compact weapon. The Glock 43, Sig Sauer P365, and Springfield Armory Hellcat are reliable, ergonomic, and effective firearms for concealed carry. However, for a home defense weapon, a larger and heavier handgun becomes more viable, increasing magazine capacity and controllability. The polymer-framed, striker-fired Glock 17 and compact Glock 19, or equivalent models in 357 Sig, 40 SNW, 45 ACP, and 10mm Auto are a good place to start. The Glock series of firearms took the shooting world by storm to the company's reputation for reliability, durability, and simplicity at an affordable price. The HK VP9 and FN509 are two modern modular combat handguns and direct competitors to the Glock series. Polymer framed and striker fired, these handguns have replaceable grip panels and back straps to allow you to customize the grip to suit your preferences. If you're more old school, several companies manufacture M1911 pattern handguns in a variety of configurations. Best Revolver for Home Defense Many American gun owners purchase a snub nosed revolver for home defense. Optimal for concealed carry, these were revolvers typically hold 5 or 6 rounds of ammunition. While lightweight and highly concealable, snub-nosed revolvers also provide less gripping surface and generate more recoil, all else being equal resulting in a less controllable firearm. In addition, the short barrel may not allow the ammunition to achieve sufficient velocity to meet the expansion threshold of defensive loads. In a home defense contest, a full-sized revolver with a 4 to 6 inch barrel is preferable. This type of revolver provides additional gripping surface and weight, minimizing felt recoil. Ideally, the revolver that you select for self-defense should be capable of handing plus P reloads. The Ruger GP100 is a stainless steel or blue alloy steel revolver chambered in 357 Magnum. 
among other calibers and one of the best revolvers for home defense. Using a 6 or 7 round cylinder, depending on the variant, this revolver is a reliable, ruggedy, constructed workhorse. Equipped with a 4.2 to 6 inch barrel, the GP100 weighs 40 to 45 ounces, more than enough to manage the recoil of full power, 357 Magnum rounds. If you decide to load the GP100 with 38 special cartridges, whether for target shooting or practical purposes, the revolver is even more controllable. Revolver Calibers Most revolvers use rimmed cartridges. A rimmed cartridge has a rim or extractor flang that in exceeds the diameter of the base. The purpose of the rim is twofold. Number one, it provides the extractor star with the surface impinge against for unloading. Number two, it acts as the head spacing point. Some of the most common revolver calibers include the following. 38 Special, 357 Magnum, 44 Special, 44 Magnum, 45 Colt. Pistol Calibers Pistol cartridges tend to be rimless or semi-rimmed, allowing for reliable cycling and feeding from detachable box magazines. Some of the most common semi-automatic pistol calibers are the following. 380 ACP, 9mm, 40 SNW, and 45 ACP. The Takeaway When you're searching for a suitable handgun for home defense, concealed carry, or competition shooting, the sheer volume of choices can be overwhelming. What shouldn't be difficult to choose is a holster. At We The People Holsters, we manufacture high quality holsters for a wide variety of handguns, ensuring that you always have the proper fit and feel for any situation. Let us know in the comments down below, are you going to choose pistol or a revolver? Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you liked this video and it helped you in any way, please get this video a like and if you don't want to miss out any future videos, subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you in the next video. Till the next time, see you guys later.